a new technology enables robots to achieve a new level of accuracy. This will allow using industrial robots for precision milling and tooling tasks. They're flexible to use and fast, but they lack the precision of machine tools. In this project, we realized um, two big breakthroughs. Yeah? One is the, uh, the exact simulation of process forces, which was up to now not really possible. And the other opportunity is the physical model of the robot, which we can uh, run in real time. Simulation-based force compensation combines simulation data from a digital twin with real-world information. In this way, robots can take over tasks that could previously only be done by stationary and expensive tooling machines. The new feature of force compensation allows us to use robots instead of machine tools to take over some roughing operations, for example. This is a very cost-efficient alternative which fits today's demand on cost-efficient manufacturing. Creating a system that can compensate deflections resulting from milling forces in the manufacturing process. First of all, using advanced mathematical algorithms, we predict the occurring forces along the path of the manufacturing. Then this path, along with the occurring forces, is fed to the controller. Using a digital twin, the controller then anticipates the deflections and compensates them before they occur. And last but not least, at the third step, we continuously calibrate and validate the digital with the real world to make sure we compensate, for example, not accurately known parameters. Using this, we can increase the accuracy from one millimeter deflections, what you typically see with robots, down to 0.1 millimeters, which is in the range of industrial applications. So for the moment we looked at robots because that is the most challenging application and no one really believed that you could do machining with robots, but we think much beyond this. So our next step are to look at classical machine tools, because also here the main cost of these classical machine tools is the hardware to provide the accuracy. And here what we'd like to do is to use these digital solutions to shift the paradigm from more hardware-oriented to digital solutions. Simulation-based force compensation can be applied in many industrial settings. It allows existing robots to be upgraded in order to increase their precision for machining tasks. For some customers, it could also be viable to buy new robots to replace less flexible conventional tooling machines. But this innovative technology could also be applied to improve conventional milling machines. The group of Siemens researchers brought together expertise from the corporate research department and combined it with the market competence of business units. Siemens has a unique advantage, an intimate knowledge of the software source code. Within this project, we use two software components. On the one hand side, we use the NX CAM, which is the planning of the process. That is where we calculate the forces. And then on the other side, we use the Cinomeric, where we translate these forces into control actions. There's a uniqueness of Siemens software portfolio that we really have a very, very seamless process from the NX CAM software all the way down to the Cinomeric, where no further adaptions are required and it's more or less a few clicks solutions and no manual interaction. Soon. Industrial robots will do some of the jobs traditional tooling machines used to do, combining versatility and precision.